All right, so this is an example of a Brevo two-door install controller here at our main office. We just moved in, so things are a little bit messy, but we do have a clean install. Uh, we've got the ISP's network cabling here, but this is our cabling work, uh, this horizontal stuff here. So as you can see, we've got our two-door controller, Brevo, with the cover panel on. As you can see, it's powered up via power over ethernet. Uh, so you've got ethernet cables and you've also got two combination cables which run power and data to the lock itself. We've also down below got an Altronics uh, 6 amp power supply. It's got main power via 115 VAC outlet. It's also got circuitry in here for power controls as well as dual PD8 batteries for battery backup. That's gonna be about six to 12 hours. Battery back up these smaller panels, obviously that's gonna be a little longer spectrum, end of the spectrum. For an example of the network requirements, we ourselves use the Cisco Meraki firewall. We've also, we also use the Datto managed Wi-Fi. You can also use Wi-Fi to control your Brevo ACS 300. As you can see, for consistency, we just like to do a hardwired Cat5, Cat6 connection. That runs back to our main panel here. We use a PoE switch. So we'll need a PoE RJ45 Ethernet connection to get back to the firewall, which sends information back to the cloud, always staying in sync. If power does get lost uh, from the power supply or you lose internet, it has onboard storage, so it remembers credentials, as well as tracks access. And as soon as network is restored, it uploads those files back to the cloud, so you have a continuous sync. Next, I'm gonna show you the front door, what that looks like. Uh, this is a new crash bar conversion kit that we did, and I'll show you that now. Okay, so we are approaching the newly installed uh, crash bar single leaf door that we just recently installed. We've got cabling running above in the drop tile ceiling, horizontally running down through the mullion, wire transfer over into the door, and then dropping down into the door frame, as well as connecting to the motorized crash bar kit here, 36 inch commercial rim exit. As you can see, we've installed this based on an old retrofit door, so that fully latches. We've got this door unlocked during business hours. So as you can see, there was an old mortise cartridge in here. We capped off the old cylinder and we installed a new cylinder, a rim cylinder, so you can lock this from the exterior. To give you an idea on the outside, what that's gonna look like, we've got a full height door here. We've got the Brevo branded RP15, R15 reader, which is a mullion reader, multi-class. So I've got, on the back of my phone, I've got a key fob. That'll buzz, and that sends my credential. This door remains unlocked during business hours, so we can take packages and things like that. We will also later be installing a video intercom, so we can get visual, as well as unlock the door remotely uh, via the app, as well as send a signal and just unlock the door. So that gives you an idea of what that's gonna look like. And we'll return to the demo of the software and we'll also show you the mobile pass functionality. All right, so we are in the Brevo mobile pass app. This is the end user that your team will have access to. Anybody you grant a credential. As you can see at the top, I've got a Bluetooth reader enabled uh, for our Melpitas office. You hold the phone up to the reader and you can unlock it. Uh, and then I've got a San Jose office here that's over Wi-Fi, which I can control remotely. And you can see I've granted access there. Uh, just run through some of the other features. Uh, we've got favorites. Uh, as you can see, you can select your favorite doors. We've got a digital badge. Uh, as you can see, you can add photos and things like that to people's profile, add new badges. Uh, you can also go through the settings requiring a face ID, touch ID, uh, lock screen protection, enable vibration, things like that. Uh, and this is going to be the MobilePass app.